It is finally the end of the week, and that means it's time to check out a unique restaurant with Taste Utah Bites. In today's sponsored segment, it's all about the fry bread. Taste Utah Bites. Oh, it's finally Friday, and that means that we are bringing you the latest, the greatest, the must hits that you need to try out for your culinary delights. We're in Provo, and we're at House of Fry Bread, uh, I have the honor and privilege of introducing you to basically what we would say culinary royalty in Utah County. Blue Adams is behind some of the greatest and most delicious concepts down here. Black Sheep Cafe, I mean, Blue Poblano, list goes on and on. This is her latest creation, and Blue, tell everyone where we're at. So we are located at 660 North, Freedom Boulevard, right across from the rec center. So it's easy to find, lots of parking, which is really nice. Yes. Um, tell us about fry bread. Tell us what we have in front of us. So House of Fry Bread, the concept is literally, uh, fry bread is the star. Okay. So we have Navajo tacos. This is our most famous, the chili verde. Ooh. Um, we have a pozole that comes with just the plain fry bread, or you can put honey and lavender on it. But we also yeah. have a little coffee kiosk. Skoden Coffee is, uh, my kids actually run it. No so way. I, I wanted to include them in this concept. So this is their little project and they help come up with recipes. This is the cinnamon bear. Oh my gosh. We, we work with a local um, roaster. Oh my gosh. He's that is a, so good. A local Chicano roaster and they dropped off some um, brown sugar cinnamon syrup. Uh -huh. So we were playing around and we came up with a cinnamon mocha. I mean, that is ridiculous. It's <laughs> so good. And then what do you have in front of you? This is the honey, honey baby lavender love. So it's a honey lavender simple syrup we make in house. Oh, I mean, and that's the thing blue with all of your concepts is that you are doing everything from scratch. You are filling it with such love and care. So for people who don't know what fry bread is, will you break it down for them? Sure, it's, it's um, very similar to a scone, but we don't use yeast. Um, the active ingredient is baking powder. That's how you get the fluffiness. But our flour is from Cortez. Wow. So Bluebird Milling Company has been milling this flour for about 150 years. Oh my gosh. And it's really popular on the Navajo Nation. And I love using it because they source their grains locally. And their um, whitening process is actually through a sifting. And they use a plant-based product. And they don't add preservatives. And this is signature of indigenous tribes. It, it, it is a contemporary food that okay. most tribes serve. Um, so I, we've been staying away from Navajo taco. Yeah. I know I just said that and trying to incorporate native taco yeah. so we can incorporate the other nations. Celebrating all of them. Absolutely. And that's really what you do, Blue, so well, is you celebrate food, heritage, culture, and you offer us flavors that we might not get to taste. That's what we love to do with Taste Utah, is introduce you to new, exciting flavors and ingredients and people like Blue who are really sharing their heart and soul on a plate. So if you want to join us every Sunday, we are sitting down, we are traveling the state of Utah, 9.30 a.m. ABC4, because, you know, we're bringing you things that are good for Utah.